feel emasculated. Is that the word? When you lose your masculinity or your... <laughs> your man card's been revoked, you mean? Mandom. Your man card's revoked. Yeah, probably. Wouldn't be the first what time. what I'm about to tell you. Uh, so, I'll say to the camera, I... I... Cannot tie my own tie. So shocker! This doesn't surprise me. What about a bow tie? Is it clip on? Do you have clip-ons? No, well, I'm, I'm gonna tell you the story of what happened. How it really, I lost my man card. Not the fact that I can't tie my own tie. That's nobody would ever know about that, right? Okay. So like, if well, I didn't know how to tie my own tie, okay, I could fake it. You know, oh, I just didn't feel like wearing a tie today. Right. So I was at an event recently where I had to wear a tie. Sure. Of course, my tie became undone because it went to the dry cleaners. I'm like. <laughs> Shoot, yeah, how am I gonna get this thing going? That means, that means I just that tied. tie has been permanently stained, tied until it's time to get it clean. Oh, how many years has that thing been tied? You know, like, like, they, they, oh. they undid it, and like the spot where it was tied was a completely different can, color. Because can you imagine his face when he got it like, oh, son of a. One tied my tie. Now what am I gonna do? Oh my oh god! My so god. listen. So I I turn to Hayes. Hayes is like, I don't know how to do it. I try doing YouTube. I know every. Oh yeah, just go on YouTube. It's not as easy as it looks. Tying your tie is not as easy as it looks. And it's not that so, hard on YouTube to find a, a tutorial, and they walk you through it step by step. It's not that hard. Period. It's really not that hard. It's like five moves. <laughs> so I get this idea. I ask Hayes her opinion, and she's like, I guess. She's like, it's going to be embarrassing. And I'm like, I don't care. I'm never going to see these people again. Okay. So at, what is it? I think it's called the JOS Bank or whatever at the mall. You yeah. Know, the, the suit, Joseph A. Bank. Yeah. The, the suit and tie store. <laughs> yes. So I, I go in there and I walk in. I'm in, you know, a pair of basketball shorts and a t-shirt, you know, and I bring my tie and I walk in and the guy that was like, they have a whole bunch of associates, but the guy was like standing right, like a greeter almost. And he goes, let me guess, you need help tying your tie. Yikes. And I go, yeah, if you would have mind. He's like, no. He goes, believe it or not. He goes, it actually happens quite often. So, so I was like, oh, he's lying okay. to you. Hold on, hold on. He's lying hold on. to you. He just made you feel better. He made you because he was always yeah. going to get a sale. Yeah. And number two, was it like the movie Ghost? Did he come behind you and put his hands around you and say, this is what you do? Like, did he take your hands? Like down with the pottery? Yeah. And said he was with the tie. <laughs> he's feeling and the tie. He's like going pottery. around. Patrick Swayze, you. He's like, that's your ear. <laughs> <laughs> you got a mandate out of it? Here, Righteous Brothers Unchained Melody starts yeah. playing in the, the store. Oh, man. Oh, my, <laughs> so my darling. Wait, so he did, did was, he charge you for that? No, he didn't charge me anything. Did, Actually, I was like really appreciative of the guy. I even told him, I was like, man, you saved my <coughs> day. Thank you so much. So this is now the tie for the rest of the year? Like, it's This like, will be tied until I have to get it dry clean <laughs> again. Yes. So while the guy was uh, whis uh, whispering sweet That's, nothings in your ear wow. from behind, tying your tie, <laughs> Uh, oh, did he fine. at least teach you how to tie no. it, or did he just did it for you? Gave you a little smack on the butt and said, "You're off, <laughs> big guy. Go get him." No, because I figured I've gotten far, this far without doing it, and I did ask the guy because I wanted to sound like I was genuinely interested in learning, but it's just too tough for me to learn. Oh, so, so you like threw in the towel. Are, man. I, you man, threw in the towel. You made it a lot dumber than you and know how to tie a tie, and you really still haven't figured out how to do the five moves. He told me, and I was like, "Oh, okay." I'll try not, you're not even willing <laughs> no. to learn, and which he, is why Ed yeah, still no. has Velcro shoes because he still hasn't figured out how to tie his shoes. That, and he still knows no Spanish, even though he's married uh, to a Hispanic woman. I just, I just know there's other suit and tie stores in the Bay Area, so I figure every couple of years that's my game goal. I'll just go into a different store, and then I can always revisit one. Wow. You know. Well, yeah. this really makes sense. It really now. Does. It, it, now we know why he falls off the diet wagon so much. <laughs> Speaking of. <laughs> got his 44 ouncer ready to go. You got the wait, day plan wait, ahead, boy. Why don't we? Wait. wait. <laughs> a proud sponsor of our podcast. <laughs> Where? Why, why do I fall off the diet wagon? What does that have to do with tying the tie? Because you're not even willing to try. Dedication. Um, She's putting forth effort. I do this podcast with you guys. Okay, but you know what, Ed? Seriously, if you would have taken five minutes, and if you only knew how tie, long, five times, six times, repetition, you take it off, you redo it, you take it off, you redo it, and you finally go, oh yeah, remember once I go one, two, up and through, and I do, okay, boom, done. You have to do it a few times, and then it, <laughs> hmm, the fact that we're even having this discussion, I don't know. 
Yeah, exactly. We should actually we ask and see if any other guys on Facebook not know how to tie a tie. If you don't know how to tie a tie, please comment in the video below. Sidebar, if you don't know how to tie a tie, you could just put in there and say, yeah, hey, Ed, I feel you. I don't know either. But would you walk into a store and have another man do it for you? <laughs> That's the question. That's Leave that question. comment. Oh, my love, That's my you darling. You need help. So it's funny because I, I still haven't tried. I mean, I basically know what Fortnite's about. I haven't delved into it. I haven't. My kids don't play it. So it's really, I know like every kid plays it. They do. But now adults play it too. And apparently. Oh, it's, like, it's, like I, po it's like the new Pokemon. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. I did see a story on it. It says that Fortnite is causing divorces. So my thing is, whether I play it or not, like I was a big Madden fan, right? Like used to play Madden all the time. NBA, 2K. Sure. All my games. Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, we used I to would, have Madden tournaments at your yeah, house. Yeah, we used to have Madden tournaments at my house. But my point is, I would never let a video game get in the way of my relationship and it's called it, they say that Fortnite is actually causing a large portion of divorces so wait because the dudes are playing it too long or the chicks are playing it too long whatever right, it is, yeah, playing it too long it's and distracting from like you know it almost be like hey I'm over here mm. this mom went on this tangent on YouTube talking about we need to talk to these creators of this game because you're making my kid lose his mind because he's like I have to get this skin for this thing and, and if I don't get the skin it's only available for another 22 hours if I don't like they're driving their parents nuts. I'm like what is the game like for, it's not like a well, real thing it's not tangible it's just like air you're like right well obviously like we talked about it before um, in another episode you know these kids are just it's video games video games video games and listen I'm a grown man and I still enjoy playing video games okay. because when we grew up Nintendo was and like Atari. the thing that I hit get I get it and it was mind-blowing I get it so you know the, the advances in technology just keep getting better and better so they're getting these games that just look incredible and are cool games and all that stuff um, I actually did play it one time at like a buddy's house I didn't really like it so it's like a Call of Duty right it's just it's like a one player it's a, it's a shooting game you go around you're into this world and you get dropped in and it's all players from around the world all playing this game okay. and the way it is is you go and you have to like build stuff and sh and oh, also oh, yeah. like oh, it's there's a lot I'm involved I'm gonna make, I gotta make my, <laughs> yeah it's really weird <laughs> I gotta um, make money and pay bills I don't have time for your Fortnite drop-ins okay? but the thing about it is is the game is free oh, right so okay. the game's free right but so which is why everybody's playing it because it's free but then if you want the skins or you want all these add-ons you then have to buy it and that's why like the mom losing their was mom. Like, this is crack that's what it is that's what it is hey here's a little taste yeah a little taste of the first crack. one's free yeah. Ooh, you like it yeah. don't you Ooh, you want some more that's it exactly is. what it is yep, 100%. first one's free so. and it is it's the game so Ed, and that's then, crazy. to answer your story crack killed a lot of relationships too so and so it's fortnite so there you go fortnite, fortnite hell of a drug <laughs> it's a hell of a drug <laughs> You guys are flossing too much. I can't even floss. I look like don't, don't, don't ever, Ed, yeah, don't. Is that how you do it? You no, look, you look you like look Pee Wee like Herman. You look like Chris Farley doing the Chippendales. Dance. Oh, like no, remember when he's in that suit and he's and then he falls like on the table. Yeah, that's what you should be for Halloween. You should be that Chris <laughs> Farley. No, what was that guy's name? He was Matt something. Matt Farley, <laughs> motivational speaker. I think it was right. Was it Matt Foley or something? Matt Foley. Matt, yeah. Matt Foley. That's what you should be. That that is <laughs> money, dude. Up to with the khakis <laughs> and the shirt in your belly and the, like the top. Motivational speaker, right? Yeah. Was the ears? Yeah, he was a motivational speaker. That's pretty good. I can floss. It's Chris Farley. Don't stop Don't. flossing. Don't. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah.